क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑन इंडस्ट्रीज उद्योग वॉट इज मेड बाई टर्म इंडस्ट्री सो इंडस्ट्री मीन्स इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटी दैट इज कंसर्न विद प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ मिनरल्स एंड प्रोविजन ऑफ सर्विसेस वट आर द मेन फैक्टर्स विच इन्फ्लुएंस द लोकेशन ऑफ एन इंडस्ट्री द लोकेशन ऑफ एन इंडस्ट्री इज अफेक्टेड बाय सर्टन फैक्टर्स फर्स्ट इज रॉ मटेरियल लैंड वॉटर लेबर पावर कैपिटल ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड मार्केट Which industry is often referred to as the backbone of modern industry in Bhai? The iron and steel company, iron and steel industry. This is referred to as the backbone of modern industry. Why? Because iron and steel industry act as a feeder industry, whose products are used as raw materials for other industries. Why cotton textile industry? Uh, rapidly expanded in mumbai this is because of the favorable conditions in mumbai there is a warm and moist climate suitable for this industry also a port situated nearby to import machinery and also easy availability of raw material and then skilled labor these are the factors behind the rapid expansion of textile industry copper cotton textile industry in mumbai what are the similarities between information technology industry in bangalore and uh, bengaluru and california first is educational and technology technological institutions bangalore has a good number of educational institutions a high quality educational students institutions and it colleges in india silicon valley also is situated to very close to or the in the vicinity of reputed scientific and technological centers of the world then the environment the pollution levels are low in both these areas and they also have clean environment correct answer you have to take silicon valley is located in california usa which one of the following industries is known as sunrise industry information technology is there are certain other industries also like the hospitality and knowledge and information technology so one is given so we have ticked here which one one of the following is a natural fiber jute is a natural fiber nylon and acrylic these are man made artificial fibers distinguish between these agro industry and mineral based industry so agro based industry they use plant and animal based products that is agricultural products as their raw materials while mineral based industry they use mineral ores as their raw materials agro based industry the examples are animal skin crops etc mineral based in industry examples of raw materials are iron ore and limestone and what are the industries example of industries of agro leather industry food processing industry and when we come to mineral based industry the examples are iron and steel industry we have to distinguish between public sector and joint sector industry So public sector industries are owned and run by government the government of the state state means whole region i am talking about means like indian government like japanese government etc joint sector go industry as the name is suggesting joint sector means it is government plus the private that is joint sector industry are owned and operated by the state as well as group of individuals which are private participants for example public sector industry hal hindustan aeronautics limited here we have maruti udyog as an example of joint sector industry now we have to give examples of these raw materials are ores and plants and products clothes that we wear car we have bikes we have tertiary activities 
trading and banking supporting the primary and secondary activities agro based industry like food processing and leather industry cottage industry anything which is done by hand so basket weaving and pottery cooperatives means the raw product raw, raw material producers and the product producers they combine or they they actually shake hands and they build a cooperative like amul and sudha dairy are the examples of cooperatives which are successful we have to choose the correct option what class of economic activities does manufacturing come under so this comes under secondary this is a secondary economic activity which industry is the base of all other industry iron and steel industry this is the base of all other industry mostly what class of industry does maruti this is maruti udyog comes under the answer is joint sector government as well as private players which of these factors affect the location of industries the answer is power yes availability of raw materials yes transport yes so all of these is the correct answer what process does the iron ore undergo in a blast furnace the answer is melting that is heating beyond melting point to extract the mineral or or metal or a content from the ore what is the output of iron and steel industry the answer is steel which of these states have some major steel producing centers the answer is jharkhand what is the name of the place where tisco began sakchi sakchi from where does the iron ore come to pittsburgh it comes from minnesota to pittsburgh fill in the blanks the river that provides sufficient water to osaka textile industry is yodo yodo river on basis of raw materials used industries are classified as agro based mineral based marine based and forest based basket weaving handicraft and pottery these are the example of small scale industry factors affecting location of industries are power raw material labor capital market transport communication etc region like mumbai pune cluster and chhota nagpur industrial belt are important industrial regions industrial region the process of smelting is done in a blast furnace the four states where most steel producing centers are located these are west bengal jharkhand odisha and chatisgarh the first cotton textile mill was, was established in ahmedabad in 1859 silicon valley is located near the rocky mountains to and false the leather industry is a forest based industry this is true small capital and infrastructure characterizes small scale industry this is also true milk dairies like sudha dairy are joint sector industry no they are cooperative industries raw materials are inputs into a, an industry manufacturing process yes this is true then uh, major industrial regions tend to be located in the temperate areas near sea ports and coal field this is absolutely true the iron and steel industry is a sunrise industry no information technology knowledge hos hospitality these are sunrise industry while smelting heating is done beyond melting point this is true alloying with other elements changes the properties of steel and this is also true they it makes it more usable hardness is increased that's why the nearest station to sakchi steel plant is kalimati this is also true 
Now let us match these Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley with California, Silicon Plateau, Bangalore, first successful textile mill, Mumbai, initiation of Tesco, Sakchi, and Manchester of Japan, Osaka. Define industry. So, industry refers to an economic activity that is concerned with production of goods. First of all, it is an economic activity and it is concerned with production of goods, extraction of minerals and provision of services. Name the three common methods of classifying industry. So, it can be on the basis of raw material used on the basis of size and ownership. Expand the abbreviation AMUL. Where are its headquarters? AMUL stands for Anand Milk Union Limited. Headquarters is at Anand. Anand that is Gujarat. Name for common processes involved in textile industries. Ginning, spinning, weaving, dyeing. So ginning, spinning, weaving, dyeing. These are the processes involved in a textile industry. Name an industrial region in northern India. The Gurgaon, Delhi, Merit region is an industrial region in northern India. See, this comes in Haryana. This in New Delhi is again, it's a union territory. And then we have UP, Uttar Pradesh. Merit is in Uttar Pradesh. Name some elements alloyed with steel. So, the aluminium, nickel and copper. These are elements that are alloyed with steel. What products do industrial plants in Jamshedpur produce? So industrial plants produce chemicals, locomotive parts, agricultural equipments, machinery, tin plate, etc. What is the link between mines and industry in Pittsburgh? The Great Lakes of North America. This lie between mines and the industrial plant in Pittsburgh. Name to natural fibers and to man-made or human-made fibers. Wool and silk, natural fibers. Nylon, polyester, acrylic, human-made fibers. Name a reason for the fact that cotton textile industry in India could not compete with that of the initially. Why? The production of hand-woven cotton textile in India. First of all, it is expensive. And also because it is hand-woven, it is time-consuming. So, it couldn't uh, compete with the Western standards where, where the industrialization was there and machinery and automation was used. What industries have started replacing the textile industries in Osaka? Iron and steel industry, machinery, shipbuilding, automobiles, electrical equipment, cement industry. This have begun to replace the textile industry in Osaka. Why is Bangalore called Silicon Plateau? This is Bangalore, Bangalore. This is called as Silicon Plateau because of the IT industry here. This is Plateau refers to Deccan Plateau where it is located. Describe briefly the classification of industries on the basis of raw materials. So on the basis of raw materials, industry can be classified into agro-based, mineral-based, marine based and forest based the raw material of agro based industry plant and animal based products examples are food processing cotton textile industry and leather industry mineral based industry raw materials are mineral ores for example iron and steel industry marine based the raw materials comes from sea and oceans seafood industry is one of these industry forest based industry use forest produced as raw material examples are paper industry and furniture. Describe briefly the classification of industries on the basis of ownership. So on the basis of ownership, industries can, can be classified into private sector, the state owned or public sector, then we have joint sector, then we have cooperative sector. So private industries, owners are individuals, group of individuals that is privately owned by single person or individuals. Public sector industries by government, by the central government or the state government. 
now joint sector industries by government also and by private partners also maruti udyog is an example of this industry cooperative sector owned by and operated by only the people that is the producers and the suppliers of the raw material so those who are uh, producing those who are uh, selling all these people they, they come together and make a cooperative amul is such an example describe the inputs processes and outputs of an industrial system with an example so industrial system consists of input then certain processing is done then the product is there that is the output so this is the output you can see raw material here input raw material labor costs transport power infrastructure these are in inputs in cotton industry examples inputs are cotton human labor transport cost what are the process process are activities steps various procedures are done to convert raw material which are taken here in order to make them as a final product in the cotton textile industries the processes are ginning spinning weaving and dyeing now the fit finished product and all profits earned these are the outputs so in the for example in the cotton textile industry what is the output the cloth we wear we wear give examples of industrial regions in india and the world so the major industrial areas of the world are east eastern northern america west and central europe eastern europe and eastern asia in india we have various major industrial regions like the mumbai pune cluster bengaluru tamil nadu region hugli region ahmedabad baroda region chhota nagpur industrial belt visakhapatnam or vizag guntur belt gurgaon delhi merit region and kollam thiruvananthapuram industrial cluster write the properties and significance of steel now steel has certain properties first of all it is tough it is malleable it is ductile that is it can be easily shaped cut and made into wire that is it is ductile if you add certain content contents or other elements to steel it makes the steel harder tougher and rust rust uh, it avoids rust steel is the backbone of modern industry it is actually the feeder to all other industries it acts as a raw material for them we use lot of objects made of steel like ship train vehicles needles safety needles safety pins machinery and equipment buildings all utilize steel as a main or sole constituent what factor supports sakchi being chosen to set up the steel plant by tisco the the reasons are first it is close to the railway station that is kalamati it was also close to iron ore means raw material raw material iron ore coal manganese deposit kolkata again a large market not very far away then we have jharia coal field and uh, this uh, getting limestone dolomite lime, these are from the limestone manganese from odisha and chatisgarh so all other products are also being used as a raw material which are nearby which, which can be um, obtained from nearby areas then the water the kharkai and suvarna lekha provides sufficient water supply describe the cotton in textile industry with special reference to its history and spread in india so cotton is a natural fiber crop the cotton textile industry involves making cloth out of fiber one of the oldest industry india has glorious history or past of producing excellent quality cost cotton textiles the muslins of dhaka the chintz of musli patnam calicos of calicut gold rod cotton of burhanpur vadodara surat these are all famous for quality and design the traditional indian cotton textile industry does not comp cannot compete with the western textile mills due to high cost and hand woven textile the process involved uh, is also time consuming the first successful mechanized automated textile mill in india was established in mumbai in 
this year. The factor that led to the success was warm, moist climate, uh, nearby port for importing machinery, availability of raw materials, skilled labor was also available. And this is how humidity helped that this to be established. Today, today the industry has spread to various other parts of country because the humidity can be all, always artificially produced. The important cotton textiles are Coimbatore, Kanpur, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Kolkata, Ludhiana, Puducherry, and Panipat. Write short notes on, on iron and steel industry in Pittsburgh and cotton and textile industry in Osaka. So Pittsburgh, important steel city in USA. Raw materials are available locally. Iron ore is bought from iron mines in Minnesota. Shipping of ore is convenient because the pathway of Great Lakes of North America. From lakes to industrial area, trains are there to carry ore. Rivers like Ohio, uh, Monongahela and Allegheny provide adequate water. And finished steel can be easily transported to the market both by land and water roads or waterways. When we come to Japan, that is Osaka is an important textile center in Japan called as its Prince Manchester of Japan. And again, important factors like the geographical factors, the plains around Osaka mean land is easily available for growth of cotton mills. Warm and humid climate is also there for easy spinning and weaving of cotton. There is a river Yodo for water supply, adequate water, water supply. Available easily, available labor, location of port, again, uh, again very favorable conditions. And industry depends on completely on imports. Means the cotton is this is this is imported cotton is imported and final product is exported which is not very expensive so these were the question and answer of this topic thank you so much take care of yourself